Hi guys, welcome back to Rose Cottage Acres. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about garden pests. Um, not stink bugs and squash bugs so much as caterpillary type things, but definitely squash bugs and stink bugs are a problem right now as well. If you take a look at my red twig dogwood, you can see it's suffering a little pest pressure here and you can see the droppings and if you like to use organic pesticides you're probably going to think well let's yank out the BT. Well although my little friend looks quite a lot like a caterpillar, he is not a caterpillar. He is in the wasp family and it will not harm him you spray him with BT, it might annoy him a little bit, but it's not going to harm him. And honestly, um, you don't see them every year. They're not a huge pest. And they're probably not going to kill your tree. So, I mean, they did do a little bit of munching and crunching. But, it's really, really not going to give you too much cause for concern. You also see I have a lot of ants on here. They are busy at work because they are aphids as well. But, you know, I just kind of let things run their course a little bit. Yeah. Little annoying black aphids. And with those, I probably am honestly going to end up getting irritated enough to do a little sippy work. These guys are actually kind of pretty. They're a little floppy. If you would consider something that is destroying your shrubs, cute. These guys do qualify. They're quite adorable in person. But yeah, they're not really caterpillars, so don't yank out your BT if you want to control them. I'm just going to let them go, honestly. They're fine. They're not going to kill the tree or shrub. They're just going to make it a little grungy for a little bit. So here is my fennel and the swallowtail caterpillar. I am hoping we don't run out of fennel before he finishes eating because as you can see he is going at a very brisk pace. He hasn't stopped all day and he, this has gone here and that has gone there and that has gone there and I only have a few plants. So that's my big worry is we might run out of fennel before he runs out of the need to eat. So, yeah, in this case, there are some caterpillars that, I don't care if they destroy my entire crop, they're going to be left to grow and thrive. So, goodbye fennel, hello swallowtail. So most gardeners know there's only one thing that would do this to a tomato plant, but I'm not at all worried because there's the hornworm and he's actually going to die. Um, he's just sitting there, well he's probably actually already dead at this point. So his natural predator found him and he's done for. That's how it is with so many things in the garden. It seems like everything is just being attacked and you're gonna lose all your crops and then their natural predators will come in and you'll get enough. I mean, you would probably get a bigger immediate yield if you use pesticides, but it's not worth poisoning the ground and yourself to get maybe one or two more squash. So I like growing as naturally as possible. And yes, I lost some tomato tips. I lost uh, a couple servings of kale for sure. The eight ball squash went the way of the squash bugs and the squash vine borer, but my yard is full of bees and butterflies and dragonflies 
And to me, it's worth it to grow without pesticides and to see all the diversity and all the amazing birds and little critters that come flocking around. These guys are all over my yard. I guess I'm kind of easily distracted today. Anyway, wasn't he a beautiful, beautiful dragonfly? If you're interested in finding out about fighting the squash vine borer and squash bugs, check out Old Alabama Gardener on YouTube. He has a really great set of tutorials on fighting those squash pests.